Morning, lovely viewer. Well, there's a rose that is growing in next door's garden and I am desperate for, for someone to tell me what it is to identify it. And it is now November the 10th. We are at the end of autumn, we are approaching winter. And look at this rose. It is absolutely fantastic. And if I zoom in here, you can see that there are millions and millions of buds still waiting to come through. And we are at the end of autumn. Winter is just around the corner. And this is the rose that, um, that I took the cutting from. And I'm desperately trying to, to identify this rose. It's like a pink colour, almost like a cerise. There's no scent to it. But it is just absolutely fantastic. Let's get some of the, the leaves as well. They are kind of a, a glossy type of leaf. Um, but I am desperate to, to identify this rose. I really am. There's, there's hardly any disease on it, on this rose. But there it is. I'm, I'm desperately trying to identify it because it is doing so well. The old lady who, who planted this many years ago, she has died. And we've moved into the house. And obviously no one now knows what what breed of rose this is, but very, very healthy. And I happen to know that the, the owners who have lived here for the last couple of years, they, um, they don't do anything with this rose at all. They don't feed it, they don't prune it, they don't do anything with it whatsoever. And um, this rose, it just goes to show that, I think it's very easy for people to say, oh, that rose has got disease because you're not looking after it. You haven't fed it, you haven't. It's very easy to do that. But I think a lot of the time it is down to the genetics of the actual rose. And this rose here is, is proof of that. It's the genetics of the rose. This has got no disease on it. And look, there's just an abundance of rose buds, hundreds just waiting to come through. This is gonna be flowering at Christmas. I've no doubt about that whatsoever. And it may be the genetics of this rose is why that cutting that I took from here done so well, who knows? You know, I'm a rose novice, I've always, I've always said that. But if someone, if someone could just identify this rose here, you see? Is it giving you any clues whatsoever? Because I'd love to know what it is. There is no scent. There is no scent, but there she is. That's gotta be seven feet tall, I guess, eight feet tall. Absolutely fantastic. So if anyone has any ideas that could, um, that could let me know, that would, be, uh, that would be fantastic. Now, do I do a tour while I'm here? Do I do a tour? Or do I leave it at that? No, I think I'll, I'll leave it at that. I've got a few ideas. I want to do um, a video of, of what I would have done differently. I think that video is going to be coming up soon. You know, from a rose novice. Maybe things I would have done differently. Um, a couple of ideas as well I've got going around in my head. But that is the, that is the purpose of this video. I'm going to keep it to that, I think. If anyone could identify that rose for me, that would be marvellous. Right, lovely viewer, I hope you have a lovely day and I hope you're all very well. Oh, just one last thing. Anyone in the Southern Hemisphere, New Zealand, Australia, I'm looking forward to seeing your roses while we're in this dormant season. So um, if you're in that part of the world, get making some videos. Right, lovely viewer, I hope you have a lovely day.